so as far as with the election, I definitely uh, you know saw and witnessed in, in, in my students uh, a lot more of an interest in, in politics and just kind of understanding what was taking place. Because um, of Obama, I would say specifically because of Obama, and um, honestly, you know the fact that you know Obama is African American. Um, uh, our student population is predominantly African American and uh, Latino Latina, and uh, a, I would say a, a good majority of our students were interested in, in Obama's, um, on some level, his, his message of change. Um, I think they still couldn't quite, you know, articulate, um, but, but they knew that uh, under Bush, uh, you know, their communities um, and their schools in particular had, had not really been served. And so uh, what I wanted to be able to do is try to have them have more of a direct access to what Obama was speaking about and, and really have them tap into well, why are you interested in Obama? Um, clearly, you know, he's, he's African American and clearly uh, he stands for, 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 for change, but, but why and what is that? And so having access to the videos allowed us to be able to break down his policies. And so they were very interested when we got into, okay, what, what is his plan for, for education? Or what is his plan around, you know, immigration? Or what is his plan around, you know, the war in Iraq? Um, you know, some students were far more interested in other areas um, than, than others, um, but I think having access to the videos and them being able to kind of stop and kind of rewind and, and take another look at it was something they, they were able to individualize it. Whereas when I do it in class, I, mean, I know where I want to stop and I know what my particular focus is and what I want them to get out of it, uh, but I would say them downstairs in the lab, them with their own headphones, them and, and literally with his words and them being able to go at their own pace was something that, that they definitely got into and um, they, they extremely benefited from. And without the lab, I mean, that's something that they would not have had access to you know, in our school. Um, even though we are in, in, in San Francisco and we're so close to, to Silicon Valley, um, even at our school, we don't necessarily have uh, the resources um, available for all of our students to access uh, um, a computer lab. And so with the Linux lab, and you know all the time and effort that that uh, volunteers have put into creating the lab uh, have provided our students with that that opportunity. And what we're also trying to get is is having our students understand what goes into putting the lab uh, together for them to be able to have that sense of, of power that that they can kind of do it as well. Um, you know, in in, in the future. Um, and so knowing that. The lab was, was created with people's, you know, time and effort, um, just to be able to provide them that opportunity, um, not for any kind of, um, you know, financial incentive, but but just this element of being able to give back. And one of our slogans for the eighth grade year is uh, appreciate, give back. And so it, it's kind of tough, though. But I would love for the eighth grade students every time they walk down there into the lab for them to know that, you know, people have been able to give back to the community uh, by, you know, creating the lab itself. Um, and that's more, you know, some of the intangibles, but we want them to be able to walk away with that and for them to be able to have, you know, understand. Uh, so as far as the teachers that do have um, one access to the lab because of the particular schedules and that do take advantage of it, uh, Mr. Curry this year teaches uh, seventh grade world history and also seventh grade technology. Um, but what we found is that in order to support the students uh, in seventh grade that are taking um, their, their writing test, which is, which is important uh, for, for the school, uh, which is right around the corner actually, I want to say uh, mid-March, um, the seventh grade, and also with the administration, they decided that that technology block would be used uh, to support uh, the seventh graders um, and, and to work on other writing skills. Uh, so for, I would say, the past, I want to say month and a half, give or take, uh, Mr. Curry has not been going down into the tech lab uh, during that tech, lab, tech box specifically um, because he has been working with uh, the seventh graders on, on uh, different writing skills to get them ready for the test. Um, but as soon as uh, you know, that is done, uh, because you know, there was a need to, to support the kids and get them ready for the test, um, once that's done, he will be back into the tech lab and you know, using that to, to support his, his teaching of social studies and also working on you know, other skills. They do a lot in seventh grade of exposing them to Google Docs and just what is out there and what is available. So once they come into eighth grade, it's, you know, log into your account, you know, it's, you know, you know open up a new document. Um, 
and so it, it makes my it makes my job easier. I don't I don't have to go through the process of setting up accounts. I don't have to go through the process of 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 them kind of navigating you know Google Docs or or, or you know just the internet in general because they take a lot they take care of a lot of the the basics I guess you would say in in seventh grade, um, which is great because um, if if I had to teach that then it would it would you know dramatically uh, take away not take away I'm sorry it would dramatically um, you know, impact how I'm, I'm going to use that time. Because, of course, you have, you have to, you know, prep them for it. Uh, so in eighth grade, it's most like in, enhancing and, and, and reinforcing some of the skills that they worked on um, in seventh grade. Um, what we're working towards uh, is, is having the fifth graders and sixth graders in, in, in the tech lab uh, far more on, on a regular basis. Um, but just to the schedule, it gets to be pretty tough for them to be uh, in the lab. And so that's... An, an area of growth that we recognize that, that we need to work on um, because even our fifth graders and sixth graders, you know, quite a few of them um, do have access to, um, you know, computers, if not at home, at least with some family members. Uh, but we want to be able to teach them how to use, you know, the Internet and how to use this technology in, in an effective way that's going to be beneficial to them, you know, in, in, in school. So there, there's that interest, clearly, but we want to be able to, you know, tap it and be able to make it... Um, more beneficial for them, you know, here at school, like to be able to support their learning, uh, I would say. Because uh, as of right now, it, it starts in seventh grade when there actually is a, a dedicated uh, technology class. So there's a lot that uh, the seventh grade technology teacher takes on. Um, and you also have to, you know, get a sense of what students already do know about technology, um, what interests them about technology, um, and what, you know, what they want to learn. Because, uh, you know, they're, they're very interested. So it's nice to be able to work with them in, in creating, you know, the curriculum for the year. So clearly we have our outcomes, but it's nice to be able to pull them in and expose them to new things that, you know, they just did not know was available.